25 year old Rita Ayebari joined the Uganda People's Defense Forces in 2015 and she was soon enrolled in the armored brigade as a tank driver. Whereas many women still regard being a soldier as a man's job, this was not the case with Rita. Her desire to join the army was sparked by her first encounter with women soldiers in UPDF. I could see very many soldiers, I could not see women. But at the time I could see women, I also feel that will I ever join this army? As Uganda joins the rest of the world to celebrate Women's Day, Ayebali urges fellow women to join the army. They should not fear army. Of course, others, we entered way fearing, but when we want the job, when we feel we need it, and we did it, I'm encouraging them, they can also do it, they should stop fearing. Rita Ayebali is not the only female tank driver in this brigade. Aliso Chom says when she saw women drivers take on men's roles in the army, it inspired her. I wanted to protect my country and I could also see my fellow ladies driving. So I became also, particularly I said I want to be a driver. I have to operate this machine. Things which make me happy as a tanker driver is that I'm proud to be a driver. I'm proud to be one of them of driving such a vehicle like other men. However, the only challenge that the two tank drivers say they face is the weight of the bombs. When it's, it's loading, the, you know the bombs are heavy. As you know, as ladies, when we don't have enough energy like men, so we find it as a challenge as we are operating it. Ayebal and Chom are just a few of the women serving in Uganda's different armed forces and they are helping to pave way for more women to join the army. The military, like other state institutions, is expected to reflect the character of the country and having more women join is a step in the right direction. Aaron Mukama, NTV Weekend Edition.